What's up foodies? Thank you so much for all the love on the last video. I really appreciate that. For today's video, we're going to be making the second part of the video, which is the chili chicken. Let's make you some Indo-Chinese food. I know that I look a little different. I know the beard is gone. So please comment in the video and let me know if you guys like me without beard or with the long beard. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do in making chili chicken is we're going to marinate our chicken. So to marinate the chicken, what I'm doing is I'm using a lot of, lot of, lot of ginger garlic paste. Um, with that, what we're going to do, this is my twist to the recipe. Um, I add about one tablespoon, about one and a half tablespoon of uh, chili powder. With that, I'm going to add some salt with salt I'm gonna add some black pepper with black pepper we're gonna go ahead and add some chili sauce to it so we're gonna go ahead and add good amount of chili so um, I'm sorry good amount of uh, uh, soya sauce to it After adding the soya sauce, what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit of vinegar to give that tanginess to the chicken. So a little bit of vinegar in there. Now we're going to go ahead and crack one egg in there. And once we all, um, do all of that, we're going to add about one spoon of um, all-purpose flour and then at the same time we're going to add about two spoons of uh, cornstarch now after adding all of this we're going to mix it very well and after mixing it we're going to let this rest for about um, about 30 minutes to 45 minutes ideally speaking we want to let it rest for about an hour uh, but if you're making it quick for uh, for your guest, you can let it rest for 30 minutes and we're going to be fine. All right, guys. So this is how you want your chicken to uh, to get marinated. You want to make sure that it gets coated on all the sides of the chicken. Now, I um, in the beginning of the video, I forgot to tell you, um, I am using uh, boneless chicken breast, uh, boneless, skinless and fatless chicken breast. I've cut them in about one and a half inch uh, inch cubes, and uh, that's what I'm gonna use for um, uh, for the uh, for the chili uh, chili chicken. Now, as you guys know, I'm a big advocate of one pan recipes. So traditionally, when people make the traditional recipe, they go ahead and deep fry the chicken first, and then they use a wok. What I'm gonna do is in my same wok, I'm gonna go ahead and de uh, start deep frying my chicken. So I have my um, oil that's uh, that's already hot. I have it on about medium heat. And then we're gonna start taking our chicken um, and we're just gonna go ahead and start deep frying them. So I'm not gonna bore you with the deep frying part of it. We'll just come back to it when we're done frying the chicken. All right guys, so this is how you want your chicken nuggets to look like. Uh, or deep fried chicken to look like they look just like the chicken nuggets um, the reason why we're gonna have a little bit of uh, brownish red color to them when we deep fry them it's because of all the spices we have uh, we have used and then the the reason why you see brown color it's because of the uh, because of the soya sauce that we added now in the same uh, same oil that we uh, we have been deep frying the chicken on, uh, in what we're gonna do it's, we're going to go ahead and add our garlic and uh, ginger to it and we're going to keep it on high heat uh, it gives that it already has a lot of the flavors that's infused in there uh, by deep frying the uh, deep frying the chicken now when we're going to cook on a, on a high heat it's going to infuse more flavors in it uh, and it's going to give that little bit of charred taste to it now after we add our um, um, our ginger and garlic in there, we're just gonna go ahead and add. I have about four uh, dried red chili, and then I have about three chilies chopped in big pieces. We're gonna just uh, saute them just a little bit. 
And once they are sauteed, we're gonna go ahead and add our onions, bell peppers, um, in the in the mix. And we're gonna go ahead and saute this for another minute or so. All right, guys. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some green onions in there. And once we add green onions, we're gonna go ahead and give it a good mix. And after giving it a good mix, um, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our sauces to it. And again, I'm still cooking on uh, on a medium heat. I don't have it on. Uh, initially, I started with high heat, and then we don't want to overcook the capsicum onions, uh, so we have it uh, cooking on. Um, on a medium heat because uh, once we add water to it since I'm making chili pini uh, chili chicken with the with the gravy on it since we're gonna add uh, water to it they're gonna get cooked anyways and if we overcook it it would start getting mushy in there now at this point what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some more soy sauce to it We're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of vinegar, just for the tanginess. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add a lots of lots of chili sauce. You do want this to be super spicy, so I'm gonna add a lot of lot of chili sauce. I'm also gonna go ahead and add a little bit of ketchup to it. And we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of uh, black pepper to it. Now we're gonna give it a good mix. We're gonna let the sausage cook for like about just a 30 seconds or so so the rawness of the sausage goes away and they all infuse in the in the vegetables as well. And after that we're gonna add some water to it, add our chicken to it, give it a good toss, and we're gonna be all done with it. All right, guys. Now here is my twist to the to the chili uh, chili chicken. What I do is a lot of people add sugar to it. What I like doing is I actually like adding honey to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a good amount of honey in there. And after I add honey. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good mix, add some water to it, and add our chicken in there as well. Now, as you can see, the traditional chili chicken when it's made, it's a little bit uh, with this uh, with the spice uh, spiciness of it. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. That's why you see me adding so much honey with it. Now, you can add sugar if you want to, just like how I added in my chili paneer. Uh, chili paneer goes better with the with the sugar, uh, chili chicken goes much better when you have when you add honey to it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water to it. Now go ahead and give it a good mix and get our chicken added in there. Alright guys, so the last thing we're gonna add just to thicken our gravy is we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, cornstarch slurry or cornstarch water. And all this does is it doesn't add any flavor to it, doesn't add any taste to it, it just helps us thicken the, the gravy of the chili, uh, chili chicken. So now pretty much um, once this is done, you just let it boil for like another minute or so and your food is pretty much ready to go. All right, guys, so this is how you want your uh, gravy to be. Um, you don't want it very, very uh, thin. You want a little bit of uh, thicker gravy. Um, this is how I like my chili chicken consistency. So pretty much this food is done. Um, I'm just going to let it simmer for like another minute or so, just on a low heat, very, very low heat. Let it simmer for a minute, and then the food is ready. So as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Do let me know what you want to see in the next video. Do you want me to keep going with the Indo-Chinese uh, uh, Chinese recipes? Do you want to see something? Let me know what you guys want me to uh, want me to make for you next week. Until then, I'll see you soon. Take care.